Hey everyone, I made an app that allows you to convert this or this or even this into a programmable macro controller similar to the Elgato Stream Deck. The app is called MIDI to Macro and it allows you to essentially utilize any MIDI device that you have connected to your computer as a macro controller. The app runs on your computer and listens for MIDI signals coming from your devices and allows you to assign macro actions to them. Those actions can be opening folders, launching apps or execute hotkey shortcuts so you can utilize them and hook them to any program that you want. MIDI to Macro is available right now. There's also a completely free demo that you can try out and see if it's up your alley. I'm going to drop you links to everything down in the description below. And I would really love to get your feedback and thoughts and comments on whether you like the program, whether you think it's useful, whether there's other stuff I can add to it to actually make it better. Now, why spend my time making an app for this? I've actually had my eyes on the Elgato Stream Deck for quite a while, but I kind of always found it hard to justify the price. Also, because I really like music production, I already have a bunch of media devices connected to my computer. I even have an innovation launch pad, which is essentially a grid of buttons. I work in IT. I started my career as a software engineer. And I figured, you know, I could probably just write a program that allows me to map all of the buttons that are already connected to my computer and assign all of the actions that I want, like opening folders, launching apps, shortcut keys, executing whatever random macro I want directly in the program. Now, I personally really like to use the Novation Launchpad as a macro controller because it's a full grid of buttons and it's super easy to use and comfortable and sits next to my computer all the time. Anyway, however, this will work with any MIDI device, be that a keyboard or a MIDI guitar, anything that sends MIDI signals to your computer, you can hook up to MIDI to macro and then assign shortcut keys and macros to them that'll get executed on your computer. Now, do note that when you first launch the app, you might get a warning from Windows saying it doesn't have a verified signature because I didn't pay the 475 US dollars to Microsoft to have it accredited just yet. I might do that, you know, if lots of people like the program and I keep developing it. So if it asks for any access to your internet, just say no, it doesn't need any internet. It doesn't need anything. It just runs standard just by itself. Once the app is running, it will automatically detect any media devices connected to your machine. And from here, you simply press a button on your media device. MIDI to Macro will recognize the note and it'll display it in the note history. And from here, you can simply assign a macro to it. You can decide to either open a folder, launch an app, or execute a shortcut key. And here you simply click on change, then press the button combination that you want to save and hit set, then apply the macro. And from now on, that same note will execute the macro that you assigned to it. From the note history, as well as this tab on all of the existing assigned macros, you can simply jump in, edit the macros or delete them again or do whatever you want for this. Media to macro will save all of your macros when you close it and reopen it so you won't lose any changes that you make. In the menu, you'll also find a link to the documentation and that will also take you to my official website. And if you have any questions, you can contact me through there or again, just leave me a comment down below on this video. Now, I personally use this app a lot because I have a ton of folders to open and apps to launch and I'm just lazy clicking around and digging through my folders to find the right stuff. Even with favorites and windows, I've just found it easy. Just press one button and it just does what I need it to do. But as I said, I'm really keen for you guys to try it out. Let me know what you think. If it's up your alley, if you find it useful, if you think it's horrible, let me know down below. I'm really keen to kind of start making a few more apps that, you know, just generally improve productivity with your day-to-day -day work. And that's all I have for you today. If you would like to support me, please hit that like button, that subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does help out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down below the video. And for that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.